All right, this is problem number 14 from the chapter eight review. I expect there's probably a few people with questions on this one, and so we're gonna go through it. So it says simplify as much as possible into the form A plus BI. So we've got letter A here, we've got a fraction, three minus two I over five plus I. Okay, so if we're trying to simplify this, we have a complex number divided by a complex number. One of our main goals right here is to rationalize the denominator. We cannot leave any imaginary numbers or irrational numbers in our denominator. So we want to rationalize the denominator. So this takes us back to a little thing called the conjugate that we've learned about already. If I want to get rid of the i's in my denominator, right, I need to take it here and what I'm going to do here is multiply by 5 minus i. But if I multiply the bottom by a five minus i, I also need to multiply the top by a five minus i in order to keep it proportional, right? This is the same value as one. So as we look to do this, right, we're gonna take it here and we're gonna multiply that denominator together first. When we do a five plus i times a five minus i, we'll end up with a 25 minus i squared, which is like 25 minus negative one, which would be a 26 in our denominator. Okay, in the top, we're gonna to have to end up foiling this out. So three times five is gonna give us 15. Three times negative i be a negative three i. Negative two i times five would be a negative 10 i. And then negative two i times negative i would be a positive two i squared. So as we look to simplify that, right? I might need to make this fraction a little bit longer there. Okay, 15 plus two times i squared. Well, two i squared is gonna be like a negative two. So 15 minus two is 13. And then negative three i minus 10 i be a negative 13 i. Right, so we wanna simplify it to the form a plus b i, right? So what we're gonna need to do then is break this and give them each their own denominator. So I'll move down here, right? So I'm gonna move down this way so you can see it. So I'm gonna have a 13 divided by 26 minus a 13 over 26 i. And each of these here does reduce, so this would end up being a 1 half minus 1 half i. And that would be our answer. All right, let's look here at uh, the second one. So the second one here, we've got six plus three i over a two minus seven i. Move it over just a little bit. Oh, I can't, so I'm gonna just rewrite this here as I'm doing it. So the first thing, right, we, we know we have to rationalize the denominator. So in order to get rid of a two minus seven i, we're gonna have to multiply it by a two plus seven i and we do it on the top and the bottom. So as we take this here and we multiply it out, right? So I'm gonna write it down here because I know I'm gonna be out of room. Two minus seven i times two plus seven i should give me four minus 49 i squared, which would be like a four plus 49, which would be 53. And then on the top, right, we're gonna end up foiling all of this. So when I do my six times my two, I'm gonna get 12. When I do my six times my seven i, that'd be a 21 i. I'm sorry, no, that's not 21. That's a 42 i. Then we will do our three i times two, which would be a six i. And then the last one there, we've got negative, I'm sorry, positive three i times positive seven i'd be 21 i squared, which would end up being a minus 21. And then let's just combine the like terms. Negative 21 and 12 should give us a negative nine. And then 42 i plus six i would be 48 i. And now we'll just take this and break this into two fractions, negative nine over 53 plus 48 
over 53i. And that is our final answer. This is problem number 14 from the chapter 8 review. Thanks for watching.